What's up, YouTube? I'm Chris Sane. If you're new to the channel, I make videos about personal finance, how to invest and build wealth through the stock market. Hey, I started the Robinhood challenge for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to simplify investing for those that wanted to invest but didn't quite know how. And number two, I wanted to show you in real time as I grow my portfolio from zero dollars to 10K and then eventually from 10K to 100K. So listen, man, feel free to grab some stock using my link below or feel free to sit back and watch. Either way, I appreciate you. Today's video is about seven dividend stocks to buy and hold forever. Again, a quick update on dividends. They are the type of stocks that even during the market like right now, where we have a lot of volatility, you have an opportunity to still earn income from great companies that still paying out a dividend that has a good balance sheet and that doesn't care about the fluctuation of the market right now. And so that's why it's important that you research and identify great companies to invest your money in for the long haul, because even during a recession, even during a stock market correction, even during a bull market, whatever you want to call it, you'll still get paid dividends every month or every quarter, depending on the company you invest in. And so without further ado, y'all know how we do. We don't start no video without shouting out and recognizing individuals that has used the link the free link to get them a free stock as you know when you get a free stock i get a free stock and so it's a win-win for everybody without further ado let's get some shout outs and let's see what free stocks we get today so as you can see this first free stock is coming from veronica we're gonna open this up y'all know i'm always hoping for apple I know I'm always hoping for Tesla, all the best companies, Amazon. We're going to go with the one in the middle and let's hope and see what we get today. United States Steel. It ain't Apple, but hey, one share, $6.11. Shout out Veronica. Thank you again for using the free link below. Again, when you get a free stock, I get a free stock. It's the win-win for everybody. Make sure you check out that link below. The next free stock is from Crystal. I want to shout out Crystal again. Thank you very much. I'm going to go with the one in the middle and we're going to scratch this off. And this one is Marathon Oil. This might be a good one. One share for uh, $3.88. And so again, shout out to everybody using the free link below to get their free stocks. Um, again, it's a, just a chance for all of us to just build our wealth and grow together in this market. Today's video is about seven dividend stocks to buy and hold forever. And so I'm going to start out with a few classics, but I'm going to take you down through there just to show you some companies that if you do plan on investing and adding individual stocks to your portfolio, some that you might want to consider to buy and hold for the long haul. Getting right to it. AbV is one of my ones that I always recommend, one that I hold. As you see, this one is currently $74.10. This has a, a dividend yield of 6.9%. And so um, that's a very good return on your investment. That's a very good company to invest in. It does have a little bit of volatility but you get that with good companies sometimes. And so this is one that I recommend you guys check out. Number two, AT&T. It's probably one of my favorite dividend companies. Great company going through a little difficult time right now, but nevertheless, it's $30.72 right now. As you can see, it has a dividend yield of 7.4. Again, when the stock market goes down, dividend yields go up and so that means the money that you're getting quarterly or monthly from these companies increases just as you saw this dividend increase and so uh, AT&T is a company that um it's worth you looking into if you want to add a telecom to your uh, portfolio one that I like and I'm just going to give you this bit of advice a recession proof stock that I've noticed is Verizon. Um, 
I own Verizon and this is the only stock that I haven't seen hit too hard by this recession. Um, the price stays uh, pretty solid. It might go up a little bit, it might go down a little bit, but it's definitely not taking no deep dive. It ain't jumping up a lot, but it ain't jumping down a lot either. And so Verizon, they have a dividend yield of 4.92. Again, anything 2% or above is a great dividend yield. Um, we ain't chasing dividends, it's important to remember that, but you do want your money to uh, be earning 4%, 5%, 6% uh, if you can. And so why not invest in something that's safe in this particular case so far, like Verizon. Another company with a good dividend, lower than ones I showed you, but Starbucks. This company is currently $69.70. It had a pretty good day today, but as you can see, their dividend is 2.5. And so you're getting, you're getting a two uh, two and a half percent on your money by holding it in Starbucks. They pay that out quarterly. That's another good company to think about. Another one I wanted to show you guys is um, Coca-Cola. This is a, everybody know Coca-Cola. This is a dividend aristocrat, a dividend king, whatever you want to call it. This one pays, it, it currently is $44.60, but it has a dividend yield of 4.16. Again, another great company. You can't go wrong holding this during good times, during bad times, during a recession or during a bull market. Sometimes, man, you got to go with the tried and true companies. Coca-Cola is definitely one of those companies. Another one is Johnson & Johnson. This one is $126.39. But if you jump down here, they have a dividend yield of uh, three, a little bit over 3%. Again, another company that no matter when you go to the store, you probably see or engage in one of their products you can't go wrong with owning this and getting three percent of your money this is a great company to have as part of your dividend portfolio another one i don't eat fast food but for those of you that do and i know it's a lot of y'all man because i live by mcdonald's and every time i ride by the drive through it's always packed and so mcdonald's is 167 dollars and 32 cent and so this it has a dividend yield of 3.9 percent and so um again like i'm saying in the previous uh things i talked about you can't go wrong with getting three percent on your money adding a company like this to your overall uh stock portfolio and so listen man just to go back through as you can see man on the day i'm at thirteen thousand seven hundred and seventy two dollars and sixteen cent I'm up $367.95 or a little bit over 2.5% on the day, almost 3%. For the week, I'm up almost $1,000, $959.56, a little bit or almost 7.5% on the day. But on the month, I'm still down $2,524.91 or a little bit over 15%. Uh, and so, again, we done had three good days in a row in the market, but it's not nothing to get happy about, man. We'll have a pullback. If not Friday, we'll have a pullback sometime next week. But it's important for you to have a watch list and identify stocks that you want to invest in and know what entry points to uh, start a position in the stock at. And so these are seven dividend stocks that I talked to you about today that you might want to consider adding to your portfolio if you don't already have them. But feel free to share with me what dividend stocks you own and will, will hold forever. Listen, man, I make videos like this all the time. And so if you like this video, make sure you check out the next one. Do me a favor. Most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.